Magandang araw mga kaibigan and today I would like to talk to you about making a another application for example visit visa while you have a pending spouse or partner visa or fiancé application. Marami nagtatanong kasi niyan bakit anong mangyayari? What if attorney what if mag-apply ako ng panibagong visa visit muna ako sa partner ko habang naghihintay ako ng aking Uh, decision ng aking application. Pwede ba yon? The problem with that, and as we may know, itong Ukraine-Russian war, and I will understand from the perspective of the applicants why they wanted to make uh, an urgent visit. Because itong gera nangyayari sa Russia and Ukraine, medyo nagpapatagal. And most of the time, sabi ng Home Office website, The applications now made outside the UK can be decided up at least six months. So could you imagine the length of time being pending stuck outside the UK uh, can cause many people to be worried. Misan di naman sila sure na papasa o mananalo sila or magtatagumpay sila sa application. And the second question that they want to ask is that can I apply for a visit visa? So, yun ang pag-aaral natin ngayon. So, sabi ko nga kanina, inaabot siya ng 24 weeks or 6 months ang desisyon sa mga partner visa. More pa yata siguro yan kapag complicated. So, there's no guarantee. The, the, the home office doesn't give you a timeline. How are you going or when uh, is the application going to be decided? Kaya sa marami, marami talaga na stuck Now, the short answer, and I will explain why, The short answer to whether you can apply to travel to the UK under a visit visa habang may pending application ka na uh, partner's visa or spouse visa, the short answer is no. Now, there are two types of nationals pertaining to coming to the UK. Ito yung tinatawag natin visa nationals and the non-visa Nationals. Ano ang sabihin to? Ang visa nationals, ito yung mga tao na nangangailangan ng visit visa to enter the UK. Philippines is one. We need a visit visa to enter the UK. But if a, uh, if a Filipino uh, goes to Israel, they don't need a visa to enter Israel. So sa Israel, non-visa national sila. Pero sa UK, they are visa nationals. And the second type of visit visa nationals, yung tinatawag nilang non-visa nationals. On top of my head, I think Brazil, uh, American, and other European countries, nationals, they don't need a visit visa to enter the UK. Now, pag-usapan natin, yung mga visa national o yung mga nangangailangan ng visit visa, hindi sila, or I will say, I will discourage you to make a visit visa application while there is a pending partner or spouse visa application. The risk of that, and I will tell you why, the risk of that, making a visit visa, is that that will mean that the partner visa application will be considered as abandoned. Or yung nauna mong ini-apply, which is the partner visa in our example now, ang tingin ng home office dyan, iniiwanan mo na yon Or ang tawag nila dyan, abandonment of application. Merong home office rules, ang tawag nila dyan, the home office one application at a time rule. So one application at a time rule yan. Sabihin, per one time, isang application lang dapat ang pending dyan. Okay, so... And I will, and it is written in the paragraph 34 BB, 34 Bravo Bravo of the immigration rules. Na kailangan one application at a time. Hindi pwedeng may pending kang uh, spouse visa and then nag apply ka pa ulit ng visit visa. And the problem that I will say, kasi pag-usapan natin yung mga visa national kasi yung talaga marami tayo. Kasi mga non-visa, bagamat hindi sila kailangan ng visit visa, pero risky pa din. 
even even if na kayo ay mga non visa national like for example American citizen ka nag nanganganib ka pa rin kasi iisipin ng home office diyan um baka ma-refuse ang application now ang pag-usapan natin ang pagtuunan natin yung mga visa nationals again kung mag apply ka ng visit visa while there is a pending application na uh, spouse visa or partner's visa the problem with that yung first application mo will be considered as abandoned and the second application the, the second risk na nakikita ko personally just because you apply for a visitor visa doesn't guarantee success just because you made an application to visit the UK for like two weeks three weeks or because of COVID because of the pandemic dahil matagal na hindi nakikita doesn't mean you will succeed. So the risk is, is, is there. You have to weigh the risk whether is it worth it na ma-abandon yung una mong application na pending? Is it worth it na mag-apply ka ng visit visa knowing knowing na ang taas ang threshold sa visitor's visa? Siyempre, ang tanong dyan, totoong bisita ka ba? Pangalawa, babalik ka ba? sa iyong pinanggalingang bansa, yung tinatawag nilang home country. Are you going to return to your home country after the validity of your visa? Mm. So, mga kaibigan, for this video, I will encourage you to wait. I know it's easier said than done. I know matagal at mahirap, nakakainip maghintay. Pero kung hindi naman life and death, hindi naman talaga urgent or emergency ang application na gagawin. Kung gusto mo lang makita yung mahal mo sa buhay, maghintay na lang. Rather than risk na ma-refuse ang visit visa, risk na ma-abandon yung una mong application, ang laki ng gastos. Ang, ang application mo sa partner visa, umaabot ka ng 3,000, 2,000 to 3,000 dollars. Kung ma-abandon mo yan, bagamat pwede ka mag-refund siguro, pero in my experience, matagal ang refund kung makaka-refund ka. Kasi ang tanong palagi dyan, is nakapag-decision na ba sila? Hmm. Pangalawa, yung visit visa application, you have to make sure that your evidence are strong enough to persuade the decision maker na ikaw talaga genuine visitor. Ibig sabihin, babalik ka sa bansang pinanggalingan mo. Kahit alam naman nila na may nakapending kang partner or spouse visa application. So para sa akin as an attorney, huwag mo na. Maghintay kung kailan ang tamang pagkakataon. Okay? Salamat po mga kaibigan. Bye for now and God bless. Bye-bye.